How often have you opened a good bottle of wine, had a glass or two, and then come back to it a day or two later to find? Ugh. Well, wine goes off because of oxidation. It begins when the wine is opened and comes into contact with oxygen. And that's a growing problem for restaurants and bars, with cuts by the glass and open bottles lasting a number of days. Every time you pour, you simply add more oxygen into the bottle, so putting the cap or the cork back really makes no difference. The wine preserver is a small disc that's inserted into the bottle after the first glass is poured. It sits on the surface of the wine where it creates a barrier between the wine and the air, slowing the oxidation process. You just place the package containing the disc over the bottle opening and use the fork-like applicator to push the disc into the bottle. Wine Preserver preserves taste and aroma for up to five days, so you can enjoy every precious drop, just as the winemaker intended it. Please welcome from Melbourne, Barry Reese. Hey, Barry. Oh. This is a very clever thing with a potentially huge worldwide market, and it better have, because you and your investors have invested how much into it? Well, probably at this stage, a million and a half, and maybe four to go. It's a big market, it's going to be OK. I, I love what it does. It looks like such a simple thing, but if I open this generic ABC labelless wine and pour you a glass and pour me a glass and we decide we want to keep the rest till <coughs> tomorrow, your wonderful thing, you're just going to insert that so it's sitting on the top. Exactly. Show us how you do okay. it, Cal. Well, normally in a restaurant, the staff take about four and a half seconds. To do, to do this, this yes. to do this, you simply push in either side, give it one twist, yep. push, throw away the piece. Yep. Now it's not, oh, wine preserver is sitting on top of the wine. Yep. And then when you serve, it's ready to go. There it is. And then we opened an identical bottle uh, a day and a half ago. Right. And what I'm going to do is do a taste test and see if if the fact that your wine preserver is in there has preserved it so that I can't taste the difference. Mmm, fruity bouquet. <laughs> nice. But normally, a day yeah. and a half uh, old wine would have... It, you, you'd expect some change in the nose. Yeah, it'd be a bit less good, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, a bit yeah. vinegary, vinegary, maybe? Slightly, yeah. I can't taste a, a mm. whiff of difference. Not, not, a, not a scintilla. And you reckon that would be the same over three or four days? Yeah, we say up to five days. Mm. And um, after that, I mean, most people have either drunk the bottle or, um, or you know, yeah, someone else, right. someone else right. has drunk it for them. Well, and they're a dollar each. <laughs> well, look, come across to the panel. I'm going to tell you, oh, you leave yours, because you're going to be bombarded by okay. questions. But I don't really have to do anything. So uh, <laughs> I'll bring mine. Uh, now, I... Mark, ever drunk wine in your life? I have. In fact, James, I'm one of those folks who actually likes to have one glass out of the bottle. Well, you're the market. So uh, that means that I have a kitchen counter that's filled with bottles where the wine's gone off and I'm waiting to cook with them. <laughs> so thank you for giving me at least double the time to be able to drink that bottle. Now, let's say that I do this and I use the wine preserver and I drink my bottle and now there's an empty bottle with a wine preserver in the bottom and it's got to go into recycling. How do I get it out? Well, the modern professional plants will separate the plastic from the glass in the plant. They crush the glass and then they remove everything, corks, plastic, etc. So the best um, way of disposing of it is leave it in the bottle and let it be professionally handled. Chris? Barry, with the, with the traditional kind of pumping type systems, which yes. have been around forever, which pump the air out, they probably give you two, three, four days maybe. This will give you five, six days. Yeah. How many bottles of wine need to be kept half empty for five or six days? Yeah. What Ans percentage? Answer that in two ways. Firstly, the pumping action removes the aromatic from the wine, so right. the nose goes flat. Everybody knows that, but they use it anyway. Mm. Uh, and secondly, most good restaurants might have 20 bottles open. This lets them expand their premium range mm. and not worry about okay. uh, opening a, a, you know, a 707 yep, yep, or, yep. or something. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Barry, this is the essence of invention because you've taken an old problem, you've reduced mm. it back to first principles and you've effectively solved it, which um, is it's just fantastic. Mm. Like functionally, Thanks. I think yeah. it's fantastic. Mm. Um, the romance in the wine goes for me, though, when I see the little white pad floating <laughs> yeah. in the bottle. Yes. And so I just wonder, is, are, are you on a stepping stone to rejigging the aesthetics of that so that it's a little yes. more 
sympathetic say to the, the romance of wine drinking? Uh, the, the next version will look more technical than pharmaceutical. That's, would be that's the, what I'm looking for. would be the correct answer. <laughs> less visible. And, and you can't believe how many times I've had that question yeah, now. It's yeah. a great question. Do you mean by that it'll be less visible? Um, it, it will look more as though it's a technical solution to mm. the product. and, and mm. um, It's about the whiteness, Yeah, it, it, it is. You know? The whiteness uh, goes away and, uh, you know, you've got right. the option of colour. Mm. Uh, summing up, Mark. Barry, this may be the simplest invention I've seen in, in four years on the new inventors. So that's a sign of excellence in design. The one thing I would say you may want to do is maybe add something that would turn colour in the sensor as the wine turns. So you can actually just look in the bottle and go, oh, it's right. five days, it's Ooh. too long. Oh. Mm. Chris, when I first looked at this, Barry, I thought, where is the need for this? I've yet to see mm. a bottle of wine in my place that I, that right. I ever keep for four days. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, I, absolutely, expanding yes. the range of wines you can offer by the glass, that's mm. a massive advantage. Yes. So uh, that's terrific. Yeah, and like, like you, Mark, I love a glass of wine and I love the concept mm. that it'll last for longer. I just, it, it wants the aesthetics match the rest of the bottle because there's a lot of money goes into those bottles yes. and the label, then we have a beautiful solution. Mm. I love Thank it. you very much. Well done, Barry. Happy drinking. Please thank Barry Reese. Thank you very much. Good on you, So, who will tonight's winner be? Well, they'll get this and they will be in the running to be named our Inventor of the Year. Will it be the new way of testing an anchor, the TATS, the guitar folding, so it's a lot easier to carry, the electric nomad, or the wine-preserving disc that makes it last a lot longer, the wine preserver? Let's look first at design, Sally. Which is the yeah, best James, design for you tonight? Design's an interesting one because um, we've got the, the preserver, I think, in, in the design way it solves the problem. Brilliant. Um, just look, leaves a bit to be desired for me on the other side of design, which is the way it's communicating with the people. Aesthetics, yeah. yeah. and then the guitar, Nomad, awesome design. You know, they're all really strong, I think, in what they're doing. You take a look at the electric Nomad mm. and you think, okay, this has got a... He's thought through so many... There's actually, I think, three different profound innovations in design yeah. in the electric Nomad that make it one whole innovation, one whole well-designed piece. Mm. Yeah, Electric Although, Nomad for me, for design, is an outstanding, because that is so compact it's and he's a done really it so beautiful beautifully. Design, engineering point of view, mm. uh, he seems to have solved the performance issue, looking after the strings, you know, he's really got all the elements. But from a need perspective, for me, tats yeah. is, is the need thing. We absolutely need some better way of working out what's happening to anchors. Yeah, yeah. it's the capability to evolve a design, radically evolve a design, and do it really quickly that makes the need for tats, I think, yeah. just the outstanding Because you need feature. an anchor. So if you get a yeah. need an anchor, it'd be really good to have one that held with minimum damage yeah, yeah. and... You, need, but, a, you but, need a great anchor, that's the thing. But the most marketable thing there, I think, has to be the preserver. Oh. I mean, it was really hard for yeah. the Europeans to change, and they still haven't changed, really, from corks from to cork, screw tops. Yeah. Yep. But I think they will accept this a lot more quickly than I accept a change from corks mm. to screw tops. And the value added, you know, when you take your bottle home from the restaurant, if you've had a dud night and you haven't drunk the whole bottle, which is unusual, but, you know, they can just drop that in for you. Like, there's yeah. a lot... The, the good vibe as knowing that that bottle is going to go for that much longer that it, can be that used it, as a marketing thing. Absolutely. Isn't? That it pays for itself the first time you drop it in. Well then. Who wins? Chris, who wins? Well, tonight for me, James, the winner is definitely going to be the wine preserver. Mm. I think that's an outstanding advance. Uh, I think he's got a great market. He's put a lot of work into it. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot of those uh, in the future. Either of you disagree? It's a pure invention. That's what I love about that product. It's, it's an invention that is... Fantastic, isn't it? It's, it's simple. I mean, there's nothing else you can say about it because it's one of those, it's simple and it's absolutely going to do mm. well. Yeah? Unanimous? Yeah. Well, so. there it is. Barry Reese and his wine preserver is tonight's winner. Thank you, Barry. Congratulations. Barry's been the Well done. Good on you. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Barry's in the running to be named our <laughs> Inventor of the Year. Well, if you'd like to have your say, you can vote in the new Inventors People's 